Ooh. Ah. All right, now the resin's had a chance to dry, so the molds are made, but I'm going to add just a single layer of fiberglass mat in a couple of the larger areas because they like to flex a little bit. This doesn't have to be, you know, super strong. Hopefully no one sends their knee through it and cracks it, but hopefully one layer on the, on the bigger areas will be enough, and then we've got a little bit more around the side. So I've got some resin ready. going to add some hardener to it and uh, get going and hopefully this takes uh, a little bit less time to dry because it's so cold outside. Alright, let's see how this goes. It's seriously in like the 30s right now. It's pretty cold. So this will probably take a long time to dry. I mixed up the, uh, the hardener. Or, I, I mean, I put a lot of hardener in. Like way more than I probably should have because Last time, I had to put the heat lamp on it for a long time to get them to, to harden up. All right, so now the fiberglass is dry, and we got to clean up these edges and some rough spots. And the thing that I actually found works the best to clean up the edges is the bench grinder. You can just, you know, run it along like that, and it'll clean up really nice. If you got a Dremel or maybe a cutoff wheel, that'll work too, but... This is what I have, so I'm going to use it. side dry fitted here just finished cutting out the holes dropped in the speakers and just it's just loosely set in place right now it's probably actually on the verge of falling but now you can see what they're gonna look like as a finished product you see they don't stick out too far so they shouldn't hit anyone's leg and uh, the other side did a better job of contouring to this this side didn't come out perfect but that'll be in the front so almost no one can see that really but along the bottom it does a real nice job. And I've got some um, cardboard to cover these so that stuff doesn't go sliding down and get lost down there. Like these pieces, I'll transfer these to a thin piece of wood or something. And they slide right in behind there. And they'll seal off this part of the pocket from the rest of it. So if you put something down in here, it won't go sliding to the front. And then you'll never be able to get it again because you can't fit your hand back there. So that'll solve that problem. All right, so now we're gonna do some rough sanding of the fiberglass. We've got some 80 grit here. I'll just try and knock this down and then we can see how rough it is and how much body filler I'm gonna to have to add. 